today it simply is not enough to honor everything veterans have done to protect us and our country. Absolutely, and as we continue to honor their service, News 13's Taylor Moresca introduces us to the next generation of our armed forces. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, Melissa and Aaron. I spoke with three Air Force JROTC cadets all in their junior year at Sockesty High School. They all told me they're preparing for a career in the military, and JROTC is helping them get there. Ultimately, I'd like to become a fighter pilot in the Air Force. For me, I'd want to the Air Force. One of my ideas is um, to become a pilot. These three junior cadets all have their sights set on the armed forces. For some of them, it's a lifelong dream. Way, way before, when, when I was back in elementary school in third grade, I, I always had this picture of, or better yet, like a sensation that I had to do something a thing of duty of honor. All three cadets joined JROTC for the discipline, responsibility, and camaraderie. They feel they've learned a lot. I'm learning to take responsibility for things, and I think if I keep up that lifestyle, It'll help me out. Being instead with so many values in the sense of being what's right, knowing what's right and wrong, being able to apply what's right to help others as well. The cadets told me they want to join the military to be a part of something that's bigger than themselves. We have to serve others because we humans are naturally selfish, and if we don't put aside that to help others, then what good are we as people? I'd really love to be a part of something bigger than me. I'd, I'd love to serve my country and give back. But really, I would just like to be a part of history. They thank our vets on Veterans Day and every day. I'd like to, uh, first of all, thank them for everything they've done. They do a lot, making sure we're safe. Thank you for your service. It really is an honor for me to live in a country where I know that veterans and military service members are keeping me safe every day. Thank you for your service. We, as civilians, of course, um, we owe a lot to you. We are indebted so much. And keep going strong, stay strong, no retreat, no surrender. Whatever it is, whatever you may be, we all thank you for your service. The cadets still have one more year before they graduate from Sagasti High School, but they have a plan. And they're ready to embark on their next chapter, serving our country. Back to you.